Uh, Minister, uh, what about uh, in Algeria and, and more broadly in Africa? What um, experience uh, have you had there um, in terms of the disruption or lack thereof of technology on both a social and economic front? Thank you very much. Uh, le first, let me thank you about your kind invitation. It's, I'm really happy to be here with you. Um, Actually, in my country, I am the minister in, in charge of ICTs. So people think that in my everyday life, I'm a hyper-connected person. But uh, actually, I'm not I'm at all. And maybe I will tell you why. Uh, but first, I, I think that uh, these uh, distinguished young uh, uh, attendees are not our only audience. You know, all people can watch us all over the world, uh, thanks to internet, of course. But um, when we think about that, uh, do not forget that something is uh, generally overlooked, that uh, how many people you think are watching us or can watch us live or after. Uh, you know, today in Africa, no less than a billion people are not connected, and we have to be connected to internet because before we speak about internet or we speak about technology or any disruptive technology. Uh, this morning, someone uh, said that Africa, the average age in Africa, is about 18, when the rest of the world is going older. In a few years, maybe in 2025, 20, uh, in Africa, we will be more than 2 billion without internet connection. You know, today, penetration rates in some African countries is less than 2%, 10% in average. And Algeria is not an example. Some African countries are, are really have really less than 2% of penetration rate. So if we speak about uh, disruptive technologies, about their impact in society, I think in Africa for many people it's a dream or let's say it's a joke. Uh, you know, um, in July 2016, the United Nations issued that internet is a basic human right. But uh, till today, I think that efforts, money, intelligence uh, is, are spent to develop next generation, 3G, 4G, 5G, I don't know what else, and uh, to fabricate slimmer smartphones with funnier cameras, with high definition screen, but uh, most of people around the world are not connected to 2G. Uh, do you think that 98% uh, of African people do care about 5G if they do not have 2G? And uh, when we are fabricating all that fanier gadget, we are uh, hurting nature, we are destroying our world and taking it to its doom. But it's not for humanity uh, advantage, it's just for fun, because of course it's funny to get my uh, movie in one second instead of two minutes because I have 4G, not 3G, but actually I'm not happiest. It's the same thing. Um, you know, I think that uh, science is the heritage of humanity and technology is, uh, may, uh, technology have to produce the way to share techno science between all man humankind. But today, technology is destroying our nature. And I think it's not an African problem. I think it's a humanity problem. And you are in Sciences Po, and you know uh, it's your problem also, because you, maybe you will be from the world leaders. A uh, reasonable mind, I think, uh, will never destroy the biodiversity and bring our planet to its doom just for fun. But uh, let's speak about economy, because uh, personally I think that the way, what, where, where, the way we are conducting economy will take our planet to its doom before we, the, bio, the destruction of biodiversity will do. Um, you know, today in Africa, with all the problems we have, some of our problems are similar as, uh, as yours, in employment, uh, young problems. Uh, Experts from all around the world, let's say experts from World Bank, they tell to our young generation that there is a very, very simple solution. 
uh, let's create startups. Innovative startups based on technology, on telecommunications, and our uh, youth are believing that, and maybe all of them, you know, if you go to the universities in Algeria or anywhere in Africa, all young people which are uh, trying to construct their future, they look to create their innovative startups. But the point is that where is telecommunications infrastructure? Because equipment to uh, have telecommunications or obvious infrastructures are not fabricating in Algeria. They are not fabricated in my continent, not in Africa. And you know, it's not a Christmas gift. So, okay, government have to buy this equipment. We need money, but how to do? Uh, oil, sell oil, and then buy equipment, okay, but oil is getting cheaper, it's not a solution. Um, okay, we will sell Agriculture goods, it's also a problem because young people do not go to agriculture today. They want to have their innovative startups. Yes, experts told them that they have to get innovative startups. It's really a big deal. We have nothing to sell. Okay, Africa have very good wealth, but it's, it's not today's purpose, I think. Um, You know, the problem is that young people who try to get a job, who believe in the startup model, they cannot, because if they develop something, platform, okay, good, have platform, you develop it, you have, you cannot use it. There is no telecommunications <coughs> infrastructure. So they get angry. What do you think they will do? Struggle? Maybe. But most likely, they will take small ship, go through the Mediterranean Sea, and go somewhere when telecommunications infrastructure does exist. It's a real problem because most of them will die, some of them will arrive, some will be rejected, some will, will stay here, but all of them are lost. Those are, those are all, yeah, very important, very fa it's, fascinating It's a real big problem. Are, yeah. And uh, you know, uh, I think that uh, it's much more complicated, but uh, to solve complicated problems, we have just to, uh, to find the, to recognize the real deal. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe we can, maybe we can talk a little bit more about, about social media. Yeah. Um, maybe we can well, have a okay. conversation afterwards among okay. all of us to Thank address you. some of those. Thank you so much. And, and Casper, as we just heard from the minister, I mean, these are all, you know, huge challenges for, for government, um, you know, whether on, on the, the social side, uh, what to do about, you know, jobs creation or destruction, who is or is not benefiting from the wealth, who's, who can or cannot participate, environmental issues that are raised by this. I mean, as a tech ambassador for Denmark, what, <laughs> what's your solution to all of this? <laughs> well, thanks very much. I think I should begin by saying that I didn't